Good morning to you on this Tuesday morning. We continue with looking at Mark's Gospel, chapter 6, today the feeding of the 5,000. So from verse 34. When Jesus went ashore, he saw a large crowd, and he felt compassion for them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. And he began to teach them many things. When it was already quite late, his disciples came to him and said, This place is desolate, and it's quite late. Send them away so that they may go into the surrounding countryside and villages and buy themselves something to eat. But he answered them, You give them something to eat. And they said to him, Shall we go and spend two hundred denarii on bread and give them something to eat? And he said to them, How many loaves do you have? Go look. And when they found out, they said, Five and two fish. And he commanded them all to sit down by groups on the green grass. They sat down in groups of hundreds and of fifties. And he took the five loaves and the two fish, and looking up toward heaven, he blessed the food and broke the loaves, and he kept giving them to the disciples to set before them. And he divided up the two fish among them all. They all ate and were satisfied. And they picked up twelve full baskets of the broken pieces, and also of the fish. There were five thousand men who ate the loaves. So here we have uh, another tremendous miracle. This great crowd has followed Jesus. And Jesus, I want you, I want to emphasize when he saw them, he felt compassion for them because they were like sheep without a shepherd. This is the Savior's heart. He had compassion. He has compassion on those who are roaming around in the darkness, who are lost. He had compassion on this crowd because they had nobody. They, they didn't know the truth. They, they were being fooled by the scribes and the Pharisees and taught false religion and, and so he had compassion on them and was showing them the way and teaching them many things and the day drew on and evening came and the disciples were worried now that what are we going to do about dinner and so Jesus said to them well you go and feed them and the disciples must have thought what what's he talking about and they said what do you want us to go and spend 200 denarii on, on bread and try to feed these people and Jesus said have a look what you've got and they found that they had five small loaves and a couple of little fish and they brought them to Jesus, and Jesus looked up to the Father, and he blessed the food and gave thanks and started dividing it, and everybody got to eat. And we're told that there were 5,000 men, and that doesn't include, of course, children and, and women, so it could have been 15,000, 20,000 people. There were a lot of people there, um, and Jesus fed them with very, very little, and they all ate and were satisfied. So here, again, he did a tremendous miracle to show uh, that he is able to satisfy all of our needs. As we're told in the Bible, my God shall supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. And also a principle here that God often uses what we already have. There were five existing loaves and a couple of little fish. And so he simply just multiplied that. And what a wonderful God we serve. Lord God, Heavenly Father, we bow our heads before you in the precious name of Jesus, your Son and our Lord. We thank you for this new day. We thank you, Lord, that you love us so very much. We thank you, Lord, that you are able to provide for all of our needs and that nothing is impossible to you. We thank you that we have these stories in the Bible, that we know, Lord, that these are things that you did and we know that you never change and you can do it again. And so we trust in you. We bless, praise and worship you. We ask, Lord, that you help us to never stress and to worry, but to realize that you are able to do all things and that you care about us. You have compassion for us. You have compassion for the lost. We pray for the lost. We pray for those who do not know you yet, who are still groping around in darkness. We pray, Lord, that today their hearts would open to you. We thank you for the country in which we live in. We pray for our governments and all in authority. We pray that you give them wisdom and understanding, godly wisdom in these difficult times. We lift up before you, Lord, the sick and the dying and all who are in need. We pray for the orphan, the widow. We pray, Lord, for the lost. We pray for the sick. We pray for the lonely. We pray for the depressed. We pray for the confused. We pray for those who are wandering around like sheep without a shepherd. Lord, we pray that you would provide shepherds, that you would provide true ministers of the gospel who are not afraid to speak the truth, but who speak the truth in love. And Lord, that you would shepherd your sheep. Heavenly Father, have mercy. We pray for our loved ones near and far. We pray for our families. We pray, Lord, for um, peace. We pray, Lord, for salvation for those who need to be saved. We pray for healing for those who need to be healed. Lord, we just commend all to you and we thank, praise and bless you in the precious and mighty name of Jesus. And we thank you for this day. And now we pray, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. So, my friends, have a blessed day. God be with you. God willing, I'll see you all again tomorrow.